I, I had like two last questions uh, and, and one of them just came to me right now. I wanted to ask you, what do you feel like is a common misconception to therapy that or a reason why, um, especially as a, I, I can only speak for our community, the black community, um, why we there's a like a sense of apprehension to like go to therapy, <clears throat> what, what do you, especially with. I mean, younger people, I, I see it in my age demographic as well, but I yeah. feel like it's getting a lot better. It's getting a lot better. Um, right. What do you feel like is that Im- Im- immediate apprehension? Like, yeah. Like, just so, you know, the myth, the common myths are um, you have to be, quote unquote, crazy to need to go to therapy because mm-hmm. you should just talk to your friends. Mm-hmm. And talking to a friend is not the same thing. You should have friends, but friend, friend and Therapist, a mental health professional is not the same thing. A second one is that's for white people. Another one is that's for rich people. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think because people didn't, for the most part, grow up seeing the people they respect use it, then it's not um, what they think of. You know, so growing up, I was a pastor's daughter. So people would come talk to the minister. Now, your grandparents or whoever wouldn't think anything bad about that. They would say like, oh, yeah, go talk to pastor. Right. Um, So we often do what we have seen. So if you haven't seen someone do it, it's like trying something different. You don't know, like, what is that going to be? And then I will say. Some people had experiences with mental health professionals that were not culturally attuned. And so if they said something wrong or did something that was problematic, then they generalize and think that's what all of them would do or that's what all of them would say. You know, one of the common associations people make is those are the people who come to take your kids away. Right. Because if social workers get a report about child abuse and the child isn't safe in the home and so they're removed, then that is some people's then affiliation of like, stay away from them because they'll take your kids. Mm. Right. And the reality actually is, you know, the priority in uh, states is usually family unification. So they are, you know, first line of action, unless something very severe has happened is usually that the parents will be given therapy, right? Or have to go to parenting classes or something like that. Um, And then even if they are removed, there's the option of, is there another relative they can stay with while this person gets on their feet? Uh, And then, you know, work if if it is so desired to work towards uh, reunification. But most of the people in therapy, most Black people in therapy have not had to deal with that issue, but that is the one that people are most aware of. 